All right. So the Dark Pictures Anthology is a game that I really enjoy, or a series of games that I really, really enjoy. I've played them all up until this point here on the channel. You know, I played uh, Man of Medan was the first one, and then, of course, Little Hope was after that. I even played Until Dawn back in the day here on the channel. All of them are on the channel, but this is the first game in the series in which I'm playing with a face cam. Meaning, you guys are going to see exactly how much of a weenie I am when it comes to horror games. And this is these series, this series of games isn't even like top tier horror. You know what I mean? It's not like the, the, the type of horror games is going to keep you at the edge of your seat because it's absolutely terrifying. This could be an exception. I don't know. But the common consensus is that they're really fun, enjoyable games, but they're not over the top scary. And for that reason, I find them very fun and enjoyable for me to get into because I love horror games, but I don't play them very often because, again, I'm a weenie. <clears throat> so, here we are with House of Ashes. The latest installment in the Dark Pictures Anthology, I am super stoked to get started on this game, guys, for multiple reasons. For one, the wonderful Ashley Tisdale's in this game, which I like. I like her. I think she's I think she's a good actress, especially back in the day with, like, you know, uh, High School Musical. For those of you guys who don't know, I am a... I like musicals, you know? It's a guilty pleasure of mine. But, furthermore... For those of you guys who don't know, I am a U.S. Army veteran of the United States Army, where I served as a military police officer. And this, you know, this this game takes place in, I believe, Iraq, which, again, I can, I can relate to it because I deployed twice to Afghanistan. So needless to say, I'm super hyped to get started on this game, guys. If you are too, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, let's just jump into this. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8-7 Every choice has a consequence. So, another thing of why I love these games. Some decisions save lives. Others lead to death. Yay! That's always fun. Choose wisely. Oh, I'm excited. And scared at the same time. Who that be? Ew. A cod. Oh, he did. No, I don't want to die. Silence. Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his girls from our land. General Bellato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. Well, that's scary. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. I mean, that's cool. Sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. 
the moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sand. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Dun dun dun. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. Wow. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Ah. Uh. Ah! My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> These quick time events are swearing they're gonna get me killed. Multiple characters killed. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. In this case, I think she's gonna die. He's gonna spear her. Uh. I feel horrible. Ah. Uh. Ouch. I had a feeling he was going to spear her. <gasps> ah, that's horrible. He beheaded her. That was unpleasant. So this is all because of a plague, apparently. He's gonna stab him. Oh. Oh. Well done. Well done. <clears throat> Did they have keys back then? I don't know. Solstice, maybe? What's going on? Oh, it's an eclipse.
Oh, snap. Something awoken. Is that paint on his face? Or is it scratches? What happened to him? Oh, hell no. Nah. I don't think that's going to be enough to hold the door. Oh, he's gonna want to get his revenge. It's probably not the right time to get your revenge. You kind of don't have a choice. <laughs> Hell no. You guys better run. This is kind of scary. I would be terrified. Can you imagine being in that situation? Nah, bruh. I'd be running around with soiled pants, I swear. Help me with this. Enemies turn friends. Or maybe not friends, but alliance. Why do I get the feeling there's a ton of bodies there because of all the flies? There is a way out the Yes. You know it. For the builders when they're done. Go. Oh, they're already inside. That's not good. Oh no. I got this. I got this. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Yeah, see? Cake. Got it. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Wait till it gets faster later on. I'm. Oh god, hold on. I gotta focus. No! <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Oh, it's just a freaking rat. Anacadian. Yes. Old is death for nothing. They died in vain <coughs> for a mad king. Press and hold right trigger. Okay. It's a big old beetle. If 
Find the secret exit, search the catacombs. Where would the secret- I see a shiny! So that's a uh, premonitions. Okay, so someone was crawling out of a hole. This is a big old door. How is this a secret entrance? Help me with this. They could probably put the torches down while they push, just saying. You first. We're safe down here. You first. <laughs> what is Shh. this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Ah, uh, we help each other. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. Damn, calm down, Winston Churchill. There is always hope. Yep, enemies turn friends or allies. I don't know. I'm gonna look around just in case I see some shinies. Over here. The graphics look amazing, by the way. If I didn't say this before, I'm playing this on PC. So there's that. What is that? Gave me the chills. Oh! I thought it was just a press thing. It's a keep pressing thing. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> Together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. I'm not gonna betray him. We just became allies. So let's fight. We're so dead. <laughs> We're so dead. Whoa, that was close. That happened way too fast. Ah! Come on, warrior. He did it. <coughs> Meanwhile, he's dead. You're not gonna say something? Well, he's dead. Oh. Oh. Well. They're both dead. <laughs> this is like the same entrance from the previous games. I don't know if this song is gonna get me demonetized, so I'm not gonna remove it though. If you guys could do me a favor and counteract that by just dropping a like, or even leaving a comment down below, that would really, really help a lot. Can I skip this though? I guess not.
I like the song though. Or maybe I will. I probably will. At least mute this part, you know? Since it's just an intro song. I wonder what he has to say. Really quick, I want to see if I can put on uh, subtitles. I should have done it earlier, so I apologize for that. Uh, display, maybe? No. Uh, graphics. No. It's got to be under gameplay. No, uh, I don't know where it's at. Hmm. Oh, I guess I passed it a couple times. Yeah, I'll just put them for all. Are you sure you want to keep this current sentence? Absolutely. Let's continue. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation? Yes. Or be lost in the darkness? Yes. <laughs> Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. Thank you. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator. Custodian of texts. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It's filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. I am aware. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. <coughs> Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. You could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Fair enough. Ah, uh, the Middle East. Two thousand three. Never been to Iraq, but like I said before, I've uh, I've been to Afghanistan twice. Jason. Jason! Colonel, Patriot? Eric King. Not 
particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh. Apologies. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. Glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, you're good to go. Who's the CEO? Can you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Uh. This is my assistant. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Gold check. First lieutenant. Gold check. Well, the briefing room? <clears throat> So we got a first lieutenant and a colonel, or was he a lieutenant colonel? Assistant. Oh wait, this is uh. What's up, Marie? Other people. Can't you keep up? Nope. Rachel King. Wait. There's two kings. Nick K. Okay. Time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Those kisses sound disgusting. <laughs> Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing. Facility. That's her dad. I'll be there in five. <coughs> Fuck, it's him. Early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? No. You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Uh. She's probably going to lie. I don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. See, Nick. I promise. Press X to doubt. I hate cheaters. Hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them. What is she doing? <laughs> I'm so confused. Is she thinking? You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. It blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. If only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> <laughs> we got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. This dude's over here working out in Saddam's palace. I see you, old man. You busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. <laughs> we have company. Yeah, well, this here would like to watch me get my sweat. You just bought me, little lady. I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Lieutenant Colonel Kane, just taking him down to the briefing room. Awkward. Yeah. Gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. Awkward. What's this malfunction? Just Thank doing you your wife. Lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready.
Damn, Joe, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. <laughs> People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? This must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Uh. The one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Yep, he... <laughs> he just realized who he was. Sir. That's a horrible salute, by the way, troop. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Uh... Yeah, we know each other. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Yikes. <laughs> Fail number one from him. <clears throat> I can only imagine how beautiful this place was, this palace, when it was sure. not like this. I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. <laughs> well, seeing as she's cheating... Doesn't seem like endearment to me. Right. Let's get you shut up. All right. First things first. I'll leave the tech stuff to you. Now there's a heavy lifting for you. Okay. We got a deal, lady. Uh. Looks like an old ballroom. The objective of the survey. I don't really want to read this, to be honest. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys read this if you guys want. I don't, I'm not, I'm a horrible reader. If I was to read everything, this Let's Play would be like 30 episodes long. Just because of my reading. Alright, got a newspaper. What just happened? This is, this is wifey, isn't it? Awkward! Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear with me first. Uh. I should have called. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders. I'm now commanding officer. Oh, that's a slap in her face. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It <laughs> confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. Ah. Uh. I'm going to need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Hello, Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? She's taking it very well, seeing as she just got relieved of duty. <clears throat> Let's check out this briefing. Mailman. Modern art or something. This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That fucking means something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You this guy's a jackass. All your briefings, Corporal? <clears throat> Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect 
where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. Saddam <laughs> has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. <laughs> That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. <laughs> Five people out so fast. I could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's Perfect. enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Honestly, I think small's the way to go, but have air support on standby. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. Yikes. It's all right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio silence within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. It's true. This is why we went to war. <clears throat> this is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. One hour to get ready for a major operation. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, the rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. <laughs> Got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? Well... Okay. I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I don't know if that was sarcasm. Eric, we need to talk. Clearly. I have to tell you. So you should know. I have a boyfriend. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Uh, I don't like any of these answers. I'll just go with excited. Rage. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Aw. You deserve better, homeboy. Nothing has changed, Eric. For you. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. I wonder why. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. Fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. <laughs> How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. Five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. 
Get call equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, I feel bad for him, man. He's getting used and abused. Let's check out this. Okay. Mm, nothing that we haven't already seen. Examine this. What are these, 40 mic mics? This is what I think it is. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Uh... I mean, I'm the commander. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. The commander has to have some sort of order, you know? Following rules and everything. Okay, so what's this? Examine. Oh, this is that same paper that we already read, right? Uh, if you guys want to read it, you guys can go ahead. I'm definitely not. What am I supposed to do? Talk to hell. Let's talk to... Well, let, let's go over here. Because I haven't seen this yet. Even though the newspaper's flying, apparently. Picked it up in a cutscene. Happened last time. George Bush. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Declares the end of hostilities in Iraq. Okay, that's that's great. I remember that speech, by the way. The mission accomplished speech. Let's talk to homeboy. Hey. You think we'll bag Chemical Alley at this facility? He's in the vicinity. We'll get him. That almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need it. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. We should at least... Stand lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're going to clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. I have a feeling... Well, to be honest, we should have air support on standby. What is this? What the hell do we need this crap for? I don't even know what it is. We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. If you want me to feel safe, you give me some more shooters. So you're my technician. So you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. He seems pretty, uh, gun hell. You need any assistance with the climbing gear? I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. All right. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Okay. <laughs> and then this I've already seen, right? Yeah, this is the first thing I saw when I got here. So then where am I supposed to go? I'm so confused right now. We're literally getting ready for this mission now, dude. So we should be popping smoke here any minute now. <clears throat> How do we get this going, though? Have I looked at this yet? I don't think I've seen this yet. Okay, so let's pick this up. Get that out of the way. Secret found. 
Failed to make contact two weeks ago. Worker, okay, presumed robbed and killed. Message end. Okay. There we go. Download complete. Let's get to the helos. What? <laughs> by that look on your face what do you think of him i take it you're talking about the skipper he's a nice guy around here nice don't cut it what do you think of him like he's got something else on his mind so i i didn't get a lot of respect from my leadership i mean from my uh my subordinates my troops it's not a good thing. Salim Badra Maldili. Sure. Salim Ortham, Lieutenant Iraqi Grounds. Okay, so now we're the enemy. Bringing a gift? Then search Zane's room. What's this? Seems like some sort of a disturbance almost. That is a horrible picture. And they folded the sister. Or wife? I don't know who that is. Oh, there's something on the table. High Great University Shield? The board has approved your application for the administrator to High Great University to read uh, Mythology, Bachelors of Arts. In academic year 2003-2004, which commences on September 2nd, 2003, this offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered. Okay, somebody, somebody got accepted to, to some university. How do I get to the room? Oh god. Okay, so I can't see a thing in there. Is this the room? It is not. Oh, there's a hallway. I didn't even see the hallway back here. I do want to inspect everything though. So there's nothing in here it looks like. It's the washing machine room. In Afghanistan, unless you're in, like, one of the big cities, most of these people lived in, uh, like, mud huts and stuff. Okay, there we go. I found it. Then? Uh, Mesopotamian, uh, mythology. <clears throat> okay. Sumerians. I think the Sumers were. I could be mistaken, but I think the Sumer people were one of, if not the first known, uh, you know, civilization out there. I could be mistaken, though. Not again. Hello. Uh, hello, Anna Salim. Salim. Salim Garkum. Abu Zain. Oh, 
اي وقعت هو زين مع مع هو زين مع ابنك طارق ايوه طارق هما مع بعض Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be restrained. Okay. I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. Captain Basri, Ahlan. I want it. Doesn't hurt at all. Captain Duli, sir. The Adu guy is here. The Adu guy is here at the moment. The Adu. He is from the war. He lost. 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 Bum bum bum. Uh, fuck. I'm a soldier, though. I didn't like either one of those answers, to be honest. They're both all bad. Aww. Oh, Mailman's the name of this team. Got it. Did he get his leg blown off? Can't face on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle having come? <laughs> fucking it like They both swallow Marines. <laughs> That's pretty good, boy. It is. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> Two weeks, probably. That's she's still a superior. Uh, can I count on you? Yeah, sure. Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. Can I Greed. Count on you? I'll ask you one more time, and I count on you. Yeah, I got you. I've got your back, buddy. I've got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Good. I hope you have my back too. Temper five. Temper five. Temper five? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstition. Hit me with one. Alright, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's gotta be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. I bet she's gonna look back. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. 
which is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah! You know, I knew it was gonna be a small team, but that's a tiny team. It's it's literally just like a what is it, like a five or six man team? Us three pigs do fly. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't see the truck. <laughs> the landing zone. Time to get into some firefights. <laughs> Who's this guy? The American, the American, go. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. He could be a civilian, so I gotta be cautious. Ben out and hold fire. We're gonna sigh out this shit. If we were to just start shooting, especially when they he didn't even have a weapon. That's Geneva Convention. <laughs> These situations are always scary, man, because you never know who's, uh, who's the bad guy, you know? He's just flagging the hell out of him, dude. There's nothing here? Well, that was easy. This rings a fuss. These people are not the enemy. They're just shepherds. Imagine if I would have shot up the place. That would have been all over the news. Lieutenant Kolchak, set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captive? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? They're just shepherds, sir. Colonel, I don't think these men are hostile. I'm starting to think they're just shepherds. Are you sure? Could it be a cover? You may be right. If these are civilians, Lieutenant Kolchak made the right call to not go in guns blazing. Agreed. It's always possible the intel uh, intel was wrong. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than a <clears throat> Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. <laughs> Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? It was at this, uh... Women's intuition I keep hearing about. Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Oh, she's a tough girl. Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. Oh, God. Assalamu alaikum, ya akhi. Lazim as al sual. To the silo. I'll make him talk. I'm 
Make him talk. Stand by. I've got this. Do you now? Let's see. I'm going to ask you one more time. Where's the silo located? <clears throat> I think he knows. What was that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. I don't like that answer. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, I did. I missed it. Pagan effigy? Are we gonna? Is, did I? Did I start the bad stuff because of that? Keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marie. Search the farm. We're gonna get into some tough stuff, aren't we? Here very soon. Nothing on this side. Tell me where the silo is. <clears throat> You're not authorized to be questioning there, Man bud. Armed, Everyone in this country is armed. Scaring off jackals from the goats. Where's the entrance to the silo? Got him! How are you gonna be spitting on my people like that, bud? Down, Lieutenant. The only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. I'll be back soon, then we're gonna talk. Keep a firm eye on this one. Yeah, he's a little shifty, isn't he? So we're going to the other hut? Somebody's gonna eventually talk. Maybe. To be honest, we don't know if there's an actual entrance. Hey, what's up, man? There ain't shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Yeah, this dude... This dude needs to relax. The Sergeant? Do we have anything important around here? What is this? Gas masks? Gas masks here. It's a interesting thing to keep around if you're just farmers. By itself, it doesn't really say much. But we're getting somewhere. You're in some deep shit. Where's the entrance to the silo? Pick up that rug. Bingo! That's heroin. Other oh, smugglers. Just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. Well, I guess it's starting. You guys might want to get behind cover there, guys. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Down, get down. This went Water south rain. real fast. <laughs> I can't even. There we go. Did somebody die? This dude's all happy for getting shot at, that's funny. Rachel! Where are you? Rachel! Back! Stay back! What's she gonna... Assemble. 203 them? Assemble! Assemble! This is why we should have had air support. Does anybody have grenades? Yeah, fuck you too. Got him. WP grenades would be real useful right now. Yeah, but they're illegal. We have to leave them at home, right? What is your orders, Marine? That ain't an option we got anymore. Oh, bullshit. Got him. I'm on a roll here. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Oh, snap! I almost missed that. Got him! Did that not hit him? I guess not. I probably hit him in his helmet. Two oh three, baby. Let's go. Alright, that was impressive. They didn't teach me that in the army. It's a paper cut. You'll be all right, buddy. Come on, hold on, hold on. Liar. Did he die? He died. Aww. Yeah, it's so hot right now. This getting any worse. You really had to say that, didn't you? Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Don't shoot. I'm not shooting. I'm not doing anything. He's just a He's just trying to escape. Fuck. Doesn't anyone speak English anymore? Oh, snap. You better not miss. Oh, snap. Oh, that's the- that was the father, right? <clears throat> he didn't want to kill the American and now we're all into some deep stuff right now. Oh snap, he fell in the mouth. Oh, that's the mouth from the very, very beginning of the game. So it all got buried. That's crazy. 